Good Tuesday morning, Mount Olive Church family and friends. Everybody joining us online. Another week of devotions. I'm going to get my notes out of the way here a little bit. Um, hope everybody's having a great start to the week and um, wonderful, wonderful sermon. Uh, Pastor brought to us Sunday that the Lord had give him um, road to uh, road to resurrection uh, as we started that one. Let's get my screen up here. All right, and um, love in action. So I hope everybody is getting a good start to the week of of putting your love into action. Um, man, just so many great great points brought out by Pastor uh, Sunday in, in in that sermon, and um, I want to uh, remind you of the theme uh, as we start this, and the theme that he give uh, Sunday morning. And to love others as he has loved me. And that come from uh, verse 34 of John chapter 13. I've got it on the screen here. Uh, but a new commandment I give unto you, that ye love one another as I have loved you, that ye also love one another. Um, and this this scripture, I love this scripture. And, um, you know, this is something, uh, it, I guess... The easiest way for me to explain this, this is something that I think if I had to pick one area in my life that God changed the most uh, when I came to know Christ, if there was one area in my life that he changed the most, that was the biggest drastic change, maybe if other people knew me before then and then they knew me now, was love. Um, it was love. And not that I didn't love before. Uh, I don't mean to come across that way, but uh, my love before Christ uh, and having a relationship with him, my love before then was very conditional. Um, if you were my friend and I loved you and there is nothing that I wouldn't do for you and uh, I would fight to the to the bitter end for you, uh, my family, uh, if you wronged me or you had hurt me, or you had wronged my friends, uh, someone that was close to me, or you had wronged my family, um, I struggled with that. Uh, it didn't matter if that was six months down the road or five years down the road. I didn't forget that. And when I seen you, we would have issues. Uh, not something that I'm proud of, but I'm so thankful for what God has done with me in that aspect of my life. Uh, but loving others e even as he has loved me. And, you know, I think uh, today as Christians in our flesh, a lot of times, um, let's just let's just be honest. A lot of times our love is still conditional. Our love is conditional and how we treat others is conditional. Uh, it's not that agape love that it should be that God shows us that, uh, you know, he he loved us when we were unlovable and i don't want to get in the conditional part because that's another point and somebody may use it this week but i want to talk about loving everyone uh and that was one of the things that was point number four that pastor brought out and i, I love that one i love it um his love god's love for everyone and this is christ went with the disciples and and he began to wash the feet and i'm so so thankful um for for that whole part of that sermon sunday uh, with pastor washing my feet, that was, um, man, that's a humbling experience and, and just something that I absolutely, um, I, I adored that, I guess, so to speak. Um, but God's love for everyone and, and Christ and as he showed that example of serving and doing that with the disciples, um, you know, he loved those that are hard to love. Right. Love those that are hard to love. And Pastor brought that out Sunday, loving those who are hard to love. Everybody's not easy to love. Right. Sometimes Jody's not easy to love. Ask my wife. Um, <laughs> sometimes I'm not easy to love. Some people uh, on a serious side here, some people really um, the ones that have wronged you, the ones that have hurt you, the ones that have hurt those that love that you love. Um, right. It's it's. It's hard to love those sometimes. Um, God loved them anyway, and he loved me when I was unlovable, right? When nobody else wanted to love me, he loved me. I think of the woman at the well, and, you know, she walked away that day and left her water pot there because 
she found someone who loved her just the way she was. It wasn't conditional. Uh, she loved someone, so or someone loved her. But this is the question I want to end with here today, and I'm I gotta I'm gonna speed up here a little bit so I don't stretch you all out too long. Um, who's God calling you to love? That that I, I wrote that down. Pastor asked that question Sunday morning, and and um, I put it I put it on the very bottom page of my notes right here. Who is God calling you to love? Um, good question. Good question. I, I actually have uh, God has spoke to me through that. And um, I'm going to love. I'm going to love. Um, I want you to ask you that question. As far as I'm going to go with this devotion, who is God calling you to love? Un unconditionally loving everyone, but who is God calling you to love? Let God speak to your heart through that. Okay? I hope this got a little something for you guys today. I love each and every one of you. Um, hope you have the rest of the Great rest of the week, and remember to pray for me, and as always, I'm praying for you. God bless.